Alrighty. Where's my music at? Okay, whatever. CV3 planning. Uh, so CG, you know, throwing a 3v3 at us this upcoming month after this next GEC without actually, like, announcing it or anything. A lot of people are scrambling to get teams. I actually kind of liked uh, 3v3. A lot of theory crafting into it. I actually came up with my teams just now on this account. I do have an 8 mail account. I don't record on it because I got it from somebody else. And so, if CG finds out what it is, blah, 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 I might get it taken away. So, I don't record on it. But I do have one. And it is fun. I do get to learn all the other stuff. Like, I had JMK before I had it on my other account. So, that's why I knew how to play them. Um, so, these are kind of like the comps I have set up. You need 15, you know, you need 30 teams total for tunes. 15 for offense and 15 for defense. You could have two different tabs. I like having my one tab, just 3v3. It's much easier for me. And so I have 30 teams set up here. I do... I don't have like just a whole one offense or defense. I know some people do because I interchange my teams pretty a lot depending on well, who I'm fighting and what they have. So this is kind of what I have set up. Um, I'll start with the GLs, of course. This is, you know, Ray, JMK. I like my Ray comp. It's one of the more nastier ones. It can really help fight C. JMK, there are a couple I was thinking about, but I went with this one for straight damage. Even with a tank in there, it won't matter too much. My, silk, my cat is pretty fast. I outspeed quite a bit of them. So, as long as I go first and I can annihilate their cat, I should win. And that's if I use him on the offense. I might just put him on defense quite a bit. This Vader comp, I was thinking, there's quite a bit different ones. You could do Maul, but I decided to split Maul. He's further down the list, you'll see later. Royal Guard, of course, is staple. Gotta have a Royal Guard in there. And the th uh, third option... I was either thinking, you know, Maul, Vader, or Thrawn. And I decided to go with Vader for this tr first 3v3 run. At least for the first week and see how it goes. Um, yeah, just see how it goes. I put, I think I put Thrawn somewhere else. This JML comp, JML doesn't really need too much with him. He just needs enough to survive. Old Ben also helps with the TM control ability blocks. My slacker team, again, I don't want to take off the biggest first order team. Slacker does not need it in 3v3, in my opinion. This is enough. He has one tank and officer who does Hux's role. C with Watt. Kills most shit. If you go up against a Ray or something, you might want to take armor. Depends on what you want, what you have. So, gas. My gas team, Rex 5s. You could change other clones in, but regardless, I like to have the other two be led by Shaq T. Um, the old Padme team, bringing that back. Um, on this account, was it this account? Yeah. So this account has Omnicron. I, I always get shit mixed up between my two accounts. This account has an Omnicron Qui-Gon. I could have put Anakin with him, but I decided to do Cam. He's further down. One second, much. And so, Anakin kicks ass with Omicron, Qui-Gon, but I'm trying something. I want to do the old school Padme team and do a different Qui-Gon. You'll see. Um, bounty Hunters. It depends what Bounty Hunters you have again. I was... I want to get... I don't have... To create a new squad. I don't have her Omicron. I do want to get her Omicron and make a bomb team. Bounty Hunter... 
So th basically, these are all my leftover tunes that are not in the team right now. Poor record. <laughs> um, pretty much a lot of trashiest tunes. If I need them for makeups, I can. Anyone? Now's the t now would be a good time. Omnicron Wampa would be a beast probably in this mode, and now I'm probably gonna get do it before three v three starts, because that's gonna be amazing in this game mode. Um, so the Shack T with the other clones, Echo, Arc, Arc Trooper, pass the uh, turret to Echo. Pretty nasty team. Jedi Knight Revan. I see people. You could do the split team. I, I like this one. It's a guarantee almost kill on anything. But I see people split CLS with uh, C3 PO and then 3 Baka. And then they use a different lead, maybe Akbar or Lando sometimes for the lead in this team. It's not bad. Um, here's my imps. This is actually, I love, love this imp team. You basically use. He has second ability to true uh, to dark trooper, and it's just a standard imp team, pretty destructive. Jedi Knight Luke, even this much, he normally doesn't even need this. Jedi Knight Luke in this game mode is a beast. He can solo most, keep most. Don't try doing too much with him. Most teams in this game mode, Hermit Yoda with him adds on, and then I uh, just put Bastila Sean in there just. I'll take her out if she. I really don't need her, but if it's a big team, or I'm like I'm losing and I need I need wins, I'll take her in just in case. Here's the mall team I have set up. It's not really a good one in my opinion. It's just there. Maul, the Mandalorian, Bo-Katan. Yeah, it's just it's something I want to try. I'm not too good with mall teams. I don't have. Mandalorians to spare either, so that's what it is. Normal DR comp. You could either you can I see people split this one too. You can do a Zal lead, uh, Darth Zal with Darth Malak, Bastila. Then you can do Darth Revan, uh, Marauder Nest, or I've seen Darth Revan HK and Nest. Depends what you have. Normal GG team ish. Um, I have this team set up for my separatists. Dooku will go stealth. Him and Newt force them to attack Magma. Newt should be able to get some extortions off. That should be a decent defense team, maybe using an offense. There's the rest of my first order team. Who ends the good one? So Hux lead is stops any TM from most teams he fights. Crew will start with, ta with taunt and Sith does the damage. Um so all my two accounts. Since I don't have Ray on my other account, I use JTR, R2, and BB8 in the lineup, and I do like it. But I'm going to try this. And offense, I do like them on offense. So I do, I'm not familiar with the resistance heroes too much. I do, I'm still kind of learning them. Every time I go into battle, I got to click their abilities. Like, which one do I click? I'm, I'm kind of getting familiar. This is where I put Thrawn with EP and Mara. They're going to be higher on the list once I get Mara Jade finished and uh, tapped off. She still kicks ass in JC. A fast Mara Jade with a fast EP. It's pretty deadly. So here's my Darth Zal leading Marauder Insidious. I mean, it's not much. Annoying. It's probably going to be more of a back team. These are more of my trashier teams I would say some are still good but we are starting to reach the bottom Lando with C3 and 3 uh, and 3 3PO eh it's not bad could be better um Bad Batch I do so with this one set up Echo uses third Tech uses his third you should be able to kill a lot of teams with this that's an offense team I'm definitely going to be using Bad Batch on offense uh, with my Night Sisters, I only have a G12 Asajj, so I thought this is my better fit. And it might be an annoying back wall team. I have this for my Rebel Fighters. I could have used, I think, Cara Dune up there if I did a BAM lead with Cara Dune and something else. But I wanted to do this team, because I see this one as the mo most annoying Rebel Fighter team I could make. 
So I wanted my Mothma, Calcaturn, and Caradun. There's my Omnicron, Qui-Gon. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what to do with him. I, I know I wanted at least Mace Windu in there. And then, while I was coming up with my comps, I was indecisive. I didn't know if I wanted to put Anakin in there, if I wanted Ky uh, Cam. I'm still indecisive right now. It might not be my final, my final decision. I might end up putting Cam up there with Padme. No, because then his, you see, that's my problem. I might, I still might think about what I want to do here. I might actually go up and take a, a Wagler Ahsoka out of JMK. Do some switching around, but regardless, I might want to put Anakin back in this team, get Ahsoka in with Padme, and then probably get Cam in with JMK. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. So I can make my Qui-Gon team a really nasty one as well. Cam in there is nasty, but Anakin's Anakin. Then the final team comp. I won't say final, I still have a couple more. But I thought it was a shame not to use Moff Gideon. Um, there's other, other teams I could come up with, but I was kind of skimming it. And they said they were going to fix... Moff Gideon, I don't know about that. Don't know if they're going to. I'm hoping they will. So I made I made a team with Moff Gideon. Even if they didn't fix him, I think it'll be kind of a shame. He's 367. I might have to take some mods off of him. I really don't want to. I like I li like his speed. Damn it. Um, and then is that it? Yep. So these are the final two teams. Got Geos and Incitrio. Citrio can kill a lot of shit in threes, even at G12. I do plan on relic them at some point. I just have other shit. I, um, they're pretty versatile when it comes to killing. And then, of course, I still have a bunch of other shit that I can make teams with. This is just what I got down to. These are This is if you placed all 15 teams down and got all wins the first time without losing. This is what you, what I would need. Not including ships. Um, and then there's always, always different comps. Obviously, seeing probably what I came up with. You, you yourself... Ah, I'm starting to lose it. Ah, you yourself probably saw different comps and different tunes that could go in different places. If you see anything, feel free to put it in the comments. I'm not, like, completely the best theory crafter in the game. Um, some kits do slip my mind. I don't know every kit by heart. So, more more eyes, the better. Um, I do like these GL comps. I think they'll work. Like I said, armor, probably with C. You could actually maybe do, uh, what is I saw? people doing oh you could maybe do like if you encounter jmk this might be able to work in threes c watt and a decently relic god damn it alpha and then you can maybe put your bugs with something else maybe a duke and shit like that it depends on what you're up against what your opponent put on defense and what you have left over for offense but like for like this gas team, this gas should be able to kill Ray much easier in threes. He has an easier time killing Ray in threes compared to fives. So there are stuff that works better against certain stuff in threes compared to fives. I'm excited. I have not been able to test Lord Vader in threes. I have a, a good and bad feeling about this. I'm actually going to use him on offense. Why? Cause I uh, he I don't think he's gonna work well on defense. His alt requires him to, and if CG like CG, I don't know if CG will change this for threes or whatnot. But his alt requires him to get mastery off his teammates. He automatically gets two less teammates on defense, so uh, that's not gonna help him too much. Stacking. I mean, I actually. Look, actually, you can't do the slacker. Oof. 
you can't do the slacker night sister t lot because you can't take four people in. Hmm. Still, I think JML. Okay, never mind. I might be able to put him on defense. Just thinking what do you counter on offense? Array? Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to see. Maybe talk with other people, see what they're thinking, what they're going to do with their leaders. Um, I'm fucking, I still think maybe Thrawn or Vader is, Darth Vader would kick some ass. Especially in threes, where only three GLs are up. Thrawn just fractures someone, and there's only three people on the team. That leaves two people to attack, so I think that would be pretty nasty as well. Um, I hope you enjoy this one. Sorry, I haven't got my other videos up. I'm going to be catching up on them here soon. Hey, oh, sorry, I'm a bit tired. Let's kick some ass this 3v3 next season. And finish up this 5v5 strong. Alright, so I'm going to kind of add like a part two. <laughs> so this is what I'm kind of thinking for defenses. I really don't care about what people see what I put down. Um, if I ever fight someone in my guild or my alliance, I would definitely be changing my defense up against you. If you ever watch this video, so know that. Um, so, my general plan, what I like to do, especially with this account having a 7 star executor, I defend the bottom zone more. On my other account, only a 4 star fucking executor, my fleet suck, I defend the top zone more. So I do do two different strategies on my accounts. On this account, it is defend the bottom zone, defend the back box, back, back bottom zone more. So for my top, I guess I'll start with my more secured zone. This is my, the front bottom zone is my heavy zone. I typically like doing three GLs defense, three GLs offense. My opponent has, but that's generally what I like to do. Uh, so Ray, that Ray comp, JMK, Darth Revan, that uh, Padme team, which is pretty nasty, and then JTR. Uh, yeah, I was kind of, I didn't know what to put there. Back here, I am actually have the Omnicron with Cam. I'm still deciding if I want to replace Cam and Jedi Knight Revan, or not Jedi Knight Revan, Jedi Knight Anakin. And switch those two out and do some uh, a little uh, comp switching. Mom Mothma, Night Sisters, Gideon, surprisingly, and then Lando. Do, do, do I have any room? Nope. So hold on, let me remove. So the why the reason I did it this way. Done. That squad. I'm honestly gonna, for my first, I guess, week of 3v3, I'm gonna try to work with just the 30 teams I set up here. I don't wanna try going over, I wanna try getting first clears as much as possible. So with that said, I tried coming up with like the most broadest strategy. Um, Grievous might go on defense, I do like him for offense, I forgot, I forget how his capabilities are worked. In 3v3, I might prefer it on defense. Down here, I usually like having the bottom of my roster in the back bottom zone. And with one or two decent comps back there. With this lineup, I, I want to keep alpha. Just in case JMK's on defense. Other shit's on defense. And I decide I'm going to use alpha with C. And I just like Sith, Sith Trio... Even though with their low gear right now in Relics, Citrio kind of kicks ass to kill a lot of shit. If a Mon Mothma, Geos, whatever's on defense. If anything else, I don't have to use them. And then I still have teams to use left over if I want to use other shit or come up with other team comps. So, hold on. <laughs> I don't want to forget. Actually, start 3v3. And not have this set here. So let me set this up. Back bottom zone again. These guys. And gals. Um, I would say the stronger one's probably the Omnicron. 
Qui-Gon, and maybe that's pretty much it. I was thinking about maybe putting Padme back there and putting Omni and putting Qui-Gon up front. Top zone. It's gonna be Vader, Shakti, the Maul team I wanna try. I don't see it doing good on offense, so I see it killing banners. Um Newt loves to kill banners. And then Darth Maul. I you could actually, for a timeout risk, depending on what guys try to do, you could put Django with your Newt, and that just have fun. To maybe take out Dooku or uh, Magma Guard. And then my fleets. I like to go heavy on offense. I won't say heavy on offense, but more heavy. I keep Negotiator. I keep Malevolence. Uh, Finalizer. And then I have one spare fleet after that if shit really goes south. And I only keep two reinforcements. Got Houndstooth, normal bounty hunters. Uh, this is generally my setup. I am missing Interceptor, unfortunately. And then this is my Radis. I mean, I do need to level this ship up. Actually, I should. It'll be useful. So, I'm going to have that ship leveled up. Um... Let's just do this real quick, because it's going to be leveled before 3v3 starts, that's for sure. Okay. And so, that means I, have, I keep Malevolence, Negotiator, Finalizer, Rebels, that's right. So those are the four fleets I have generally on offense. And then... I can scramble something together if I absolutely have to, but if I'm down to that, I, I'm i not generally clearing the rest of their fleets. Alright, this is my 3v3 setup I'm planning. Of course, I'm probably going to change it depending on who my opponent is, what they have. If they have less GLs, I'm going to put more GLs on defense. If they have more, right there, there's no more having more GLs than me. If they have equal GLs, I'm going to do this strategy. Maybe look into what they like to put on defense. I do. I might change up other comps as my as the roster grows. So, always keep in mind what you have available as well. What Omnicrons you've put on and whatnot. People with Wampa, you can just put Wampa in one, one comp. Just Wampa alone. Probably kill something. I'm debating on doing that for 3v just for 3v3 since it's gonna be a regular thing. Remember, 5v5, 3v3, 5v5, 3v3. That's how they had it basically for the past year and a half too. It's probably how they're gonna have it here on out. It's not going away no matter how much people complain. We just have to get used to 3v3, unfortunately. Alright, I hope you now enjoyed the video.